Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the sixth elementary grade. Our textbook is uh, weekend three, and today, inshallah, we will cover unit eight lives, ups, and downs. Phonics on pages 64 and 65. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazana Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al Agil. So let's begin. Quick revision in our last lesson. In our last lesson, we had reading and writing, where we did read this uh, text, which is about, or which, which is called, My Brother Khalid. And in this text, we learned uh, what happened to Khalid in the past, and also we tried to try to rewrite this story, but with changing the forms. Instead of writing the verbs in the past, to write it in the present. So, let's remind ourselves, let's uh, uh, make a quick reading on this text and afterward we're going to review the rest of our last lesson. So, the, the lesson was about uh, reading. Let's read it now together and try to chant it a little bit. So, just to remind ourselves with the words that and the sounds that we heard in this text. Number one, my brother Khalid. My brother Khalid went to the cupboard to find something to eat. But, he, but when he got there, the cupboard was bare, and so he had nothing to eat. So, from this part, I ask you to try to find the verbs or the irregular verbs that used in the past. So can you have a look here and tell me what are the verbs that written in the past? Exactly. Here we do have uh, four verbs that are in the past. And these verbs are went and got, was and had. So this is regarding the first part. Now let's listen to the second part and try to find more irregular verbs. So, here we go. Here we have the second part. Let's listen to it and then we will uh, find uh, the uh, regular verbs. My brother Khalid, he went to the grocers to buy some fruit and milk. But when he came back, he was holding an empty brown bag. Poor Khalid. So here again, in this part, the second part of this chant, here we do have also irregular verbs in the past. So can you tell me what these uh, verbs are? The verbs were went, came, and was. All of these verbs are in the past talking about what happened to Khalid. Now, among all of these verbs, as you can see here, went, got, was, had, went, came, and was, all we had to do is to read the chant or read the story again and try to rewrite it. Rewrite it meaning by changing the verbs in the past, as you can see here, and to put the uh, verbs in the present, as we can see here, inside these circles. This is, will help us to change the story from uh, something happened in the past to Khalid to something that is happening in the present to Khalid. So what are the verbs? What, are, what should we change for each of these verbs? Let's now try to remind ourselves of the verbs that, that we will use in the past and in the present. For example, if we are using went in the past, then in the present we should use goes because we're talking about Khalid here. And got, it will be gets. Was will be is. And had will be has. Went will be goes. Came will be comes. 
and was, will be, is. So this is it. This is how we can rewrite a story by changing the verbs from the past to the present. And after this, uh, in our last lesson, we did practice the challenge time, where what we had to do with this practice is to listen to a chant about how to make a certain food. And after this, we did circle what are the ingredients or that we use in order to make such a food. So for example, let's remind ourselves of the words that we heard last time. Re uh, relating to food. And after this, we'll remind ourselves with the answers that we did choose uh, last time. So the words that we practiced last time were meat, chicken, cheese, butter, tomatoes, salad, macaroni, bread, carrots, onions, potatoes, apples, rice, flour, eggs, oil, juice, milk, mustard, and ketchup. So these were the words that we practiced on last time, and these were the answers of the chant we heard. We heard the chant and we decided that what we listened to in the chant says we had some meat and we didn't have any cheese. We had some tomatoes, but we didn't have any macaroni. We had some onions, but we didn't have any apples. And for the second part, we had some flour, but we didn't have any eggs. And we have some juice, but we didn't have any mustard. So this is, or this was about our chant last time, where we listen and we circle the words we heard. And also we said that in order to make it more interesting, we can rewrite this chant. We can rewrite it by changing the food that we chant about. And also, after this, you can make a comment. If you like it, you would say, it is interesting, it is funny, and if you don't, you can say, it is difficult or it is boring. So, it's, uh, uh, it's good to try to practice comments uh, from time to time. Now, let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. At the end of this lesson, we hope that you will able to pronounce the uh, PH, F, and GH correctly, and also to use object pronouns in sentences, and to make appropriate comments. So this is what we're going to do, to practice different sounds, and to learn how to make appropriate comments, and even to use the pronouns in sentences. So let's begin. I would like you please to open your books on page 64. I would like you please to open your books on page 64. Now, on page 64, what we're going to do here is that we're going to listen, and we're going to uh, point, and we're going to practice. So, can you believe that all of these three words have the same sound or share the same sound? So this is what we are going to learn today, is that how we're going to pronounce words that may have all or that share all the same sound but with different letters. So the sounds that we are about to listen to are sounds written in F letter and PH and GH. Now let's listen to the words related to all of these sounds or all of these letters and then we will uh, repeat it together and say it again. So the, for the first one, and I'm going to read it and I would like you to repeat after me. Frog. Frog. F 
phone, phone, laugh, laugh. Let's do it one more time. Frog, phone, laugh. So all of these sounds, ha or all of these words that share the same sounds of f, f. So here in the first one we said frog, the second one we said fawn, and the third one we said laugh. So whether we have sometimes we come across words with F letter and here like word uh, frog, the same sound, and sometimes we'll have words with P, it starts with PH letter and we'll pronounce as the F letter fawn, and also sometimes we're going to come across words with GH letter and we'll pronounce the same as F and PH. Like here we have laugh. So just bear this in mind, sometimes we'll go, we're going to come across words that have the same sound. Now, let's practice and let's remind ourselves of uh, these, uh, let's remind ourselves of other words that uh, ca can use all of these sounds with these different letters. The F letter, the uh, PH letters, and the GH letter. So in exercise two, listen and circle either F, PH, or G, H, then complete the word. So here, uh, for, the each, uh, for each one, you're going to listen to a word, and after you listen, just decide which letters should we use. Is it uh, F? PH or uh, GH. So let's start with the first one as an example. So the first word we have here in number one is friends. 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 So what do you think? Which one or what is the letters that we should use to, in order to complete this word? Friends starts with the letter F. Then here we write uh, letter F and then he, here we will go circle the letter F. And let's see number two. Photo, photo, photo. So what do you think? How we do write photo? Is it with F, PH or GH? Of course we do write it with PH. Now, let's move on to number three, which I'm sure you, some of you may be familiar with this word, as we heard it many times. Number three, elephant, elephant, elephant. So, what do you think? Elephant, does it start with F, P, H, or G, H? Of course, elephant starts with, or has, the PH letters inside. And for the last one, laugh, laugh, laugh. So, what do you think? Is it F, PH, or GH? It is exactly GH. And mostly, GH, when it comes at the end, we pronounce it the same as we pronounce it here in the word laugh. Now, in order to help ourselves and to be more familiar with the letters G, H, and how do they pronounce, let's listen to this great chant between a father and his son. And let's listen to, uh, to uh, the father talking to his son and listen carefully to the words that he has or he is about to say. So, let's listen for the first time to the, what the father has to say to his son, and after this, we can share and repeat it together. Enough. Don't laugh. I know it's tough. But it's lots of fun. Very well. So now, we heard the father talking to his son using these words, like, enough. Enough, say with me, enough. Don't laugh, laugh. 
I know it's tough, tough, but it's lots of fun. You see, sometime when we have GH at the end, they are most likely to, pronounce as, to be pronounced as F. So let's listen one more time just to make sure we understand how we read such words. Enough. Don't laugh. I know it's tough. But it's lots of fun. Very well. Now let us move on to the other exercise we have, which is to complete the sentences with the words. So here we have three words, enough, photo, and funny. What we need to do here is we're going to read all the sentences and then we're going to decide which word we should use to complete this sentence. So number one, no thank you, I don't want any more. It is, so when you are full and you don't want anything to eat, what would you use? You would say, no thank you, it's enough or no thank you it's photo or no thank you it's funny what do you think which one makes uh, 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 or which one is more reasonable to you is it to say enough photo or funny it is of course the first one no thank you i am full thank you it's enough number two it's a story it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh. So, so, if something makes you laugh, if something makes you happy, what do you call it? Do you call it a photo or funny? Of course, we call it funny, as in, it's a funny story, it makes me laugh. So, this will leave us with the last word we have, which is photo. Can I see your photo? You look really cool. So here you go. These are the answers of exercise four. Now, let us move on to page 65. Let's turn to page 65. On page 65, as you can see here, here we're going to read about Muhammad uh, and his day. So Muhammad here shared with us about his day what we're going to do is we're going to read what uh, he wrote and then we can rewrite the story by ourselves. So let's read it together so we can know what to uh, write. So, Muhammad says, Yesterday we went to an adventure park. Our father drove us there. My sister and I saw some friends from school and played with them. Then we went on rides with our parents. It was great fun. After the rides, Dad got me a burger. My sister didn't want one, so he got her an ice cream. We were really good, so Dad promised to take us again next week. I can't wait. So, this is about Muhammad who talked about a fun day, an exciting day he would never forget. So now what we need to do is, let's rewrite Muhammad's story. And how we can do this? We can do this by, we can do this by changing some of the verbs we saw, or some of the verbs we read. Like, for example, instead of he saw me, we can use the object pronoun, we can see we saw him. Or we can say that instead of uh, uh, he uh, or he drove her or he drove us, we can say he drove them. So we can rewrite the story by changing the pronouns. So it doesn't have to be about Muhammad and his sister we can talk about someone we know. We can talk also about ourselves. And we can have a sample like this. Yesterday, Muhammad went to an adventure park. 
their father drove them there. So here, instead of using my father drove us, we can say their father drove them. Try it. It will be more interesting to change the pronouns and to rewrite the story again. And now, at the end of this lesson, it's important that you can say, read, and write words with F, P, H, and G, H, and also to read and rewrite a short text using me, you, him, her, or us, and them. So now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.